I'm gonna do another get ready with me sort of video. I think it's gonna be sort of a chatty get ready because I kind of feel like talking. Basically, I'm ridiculously warm and I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup, but I wanted to film today. So I'm gonna be doing a, it's way too hot for makeup, but I still wanna look nice makeup look. Um, so my skin's kinda a little sweaty and kinda getting oily. So I'm just gonna wipe it down with some witch hazel just to get some of the excess oil off and tone my skin. So also helps to cool me down. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my fan going or if my hair blowing around is weirding you out. Um, but I do have a fan just off screen. It's necessary. I'm dying. I have a very low threshold for heat. So now that my skin's all toned, I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of Mist and Fix. I'm going to pause my fan for a second so I can blow it all away. It's because I'm not going to be using a foundation today, so I want to make sure my skin is sort of moisturized and um, primed and everything, I guess. And I'm also going to be using a primer. I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Perfecting Brightening Primer Base, which I've been using a lot recently, and I have been really liking it. I'm going to use too much, just enough to promote the face. And this will just give my powder something to stick to. And because I'm not going to use a foundation, I am going to make sure that I conceal just so that I don't have any glaring um, flaws or anything. Uh, so I'm going to use my under eye concealer first. It's the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. And that's my Clinique um, spot clearing concealer, I think. And now that is all I'm going to do for my skin today, so I'm just going to set. And I have a brand new Stay Matte Pressed Powder by Rimmel. I'm in Silky Beige this time. And today I'm going to use a flat top brush, just because it does give a little bit more coverage then a round top brush and I'm going to pat that into my skin. This is just the e.l.f. Studio powder brush. If you didn't have dry skin, or if you do have dry skin, then I would just powder the places that are prone to either oiliness or sweatiness, which for me is pretty much the entire face, so that's what I'm setting on my own face. And pressing into the skin will give you more coverage than swirling it on the face. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to bronze up the skin while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to use my EXO Beauty Bronzer Brush and my Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I'm going to do a really light dusting on the cheekbones. I'm going to take that down the sides of my face as well. No extra product, just what's left on the brush. And I will add blush as well a bit later. But first I'm going to do the most necessary part of my face, which is my brows. And today I'm going to use my CoverGirl Brow and Eye Makers pencil. And just fill those in. This is actually like the second most necessary part of my makeup. But uh, it's pretty important. I'm pretty sure I over plucked them when I was in high school and they just never really grew back properly because at one point I had like a single line of hair in the tails part after the arch. Uh, it was pretty bad. Let me grab 
made salt looks pretty good, I think. And I'm gonna set with them with my CoverGirl Natural Lash uh, Clear Brow Gel. If you really need your brows to stay in place, and you have really crazy wild brows, maybe this isn't the right brow gel for you. I don't think it makes them like super crunchy, so if that is a type of thing you look for in a brow gel, uh, this probably isn't the one for you. If you just want something to help shape and hold in place, and like hold your product in place, which is basically what I go for, then this one's pretty nice. It doesn't get crunchy, it's very comfortable and it doesn't get flaky. And I want to go really simple and really waterproof. So I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the color tattoo in Chocolate Suede, which is part of the leather collection. This one's kind of drying out a bit, which is a bit weird. My other one has not dried out. My other one's not dried out. Yeah, I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. This one's a very pigmented, dark, smoky, Shimmery brown. Mm -hmm. I could that I could build this one up a bit more if I wanted, but um, as you can see, it's quite dark. I'm just gonna blend out the edge with another eyeshadow, just because it's easier than trying to get a clean edge with my finger and a color tattoo. I'm gonna use the round top blender brush. And because I kind of want to warm it up because it is quite a dark color, I think I'm going to go into my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to use Havana, which is the warmest bronzer. And of course, highlight now. I'm going to use the Naked Basics palette and I'm going to use Walk of Shame to start. I'm going to pop that underneath the brow to also help to clean up that blended edge. It's a little bit on the inner corner as well. And I'm basically going to use that as a base for Venus, which is the shimmery color in the Makeup Basics palette. Alright, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to use my Maybelline Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara to finish up the top. I'm going to pop that on the bottom as well. The bottom lashes are super messy today for some reason, and I have no idea why. Um, but I'm going to stop trying to fix them because I'm just going to make a mess. So we're almost done. I'm going to use my favorite blush, my Curl with Benefit Coralista. Whatever your favorite blush is would work. I personally just love coral blushes. I think with this dark eye that I've done, um, you get away with quite a poppy pink. Like a bright pink on the cheeks as well, if that is your thing or something you're into. Or like a bright orange blush could also be really fun. And of course this makeup look would work for uh, really any color tattoo. And it would give you a very different look. And any brown or taupey eyeshadow would work to blend out the colors. Naked 2 or Faint would work great for pretty much any other color. I don't think I'm going to highlight today. I think I'm going to leave the blush to do that on its own. And I'll just do lips now. For the day for lips, I'm going to use Yasmin because the matte color is going to last a lot longer. I'm not going to have to worry about it as much. You could also just skip the brights, but brights for summer are really fun. So if you can be bothered, then why not? Um, so this is a bright orange from ColourPop. Kind of like an orange red, not like orange like orange. So 
So as you can see, that's like a great, fun summer red. I'm gonna set with a little bit more of my Mist and Fix. I just helped to lock everything in place. That is the entire makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. You can't wear a full face of makeup every day, but this is kind of like a more comfortable alternative. I'm sure if you have like dry skin or dry combo skin, then maybe wearing foundation on a really hot day isn't as big of an issue for you. But I'm sure other people with oily skin will agree with me that when you're sweaty and oily, it's just you don't want to add more slick products on your face and that's when something like this comes in handy. If you had a powder foundation, which would give you a lot more coverage, um, that would be a great alternative to the Stay Matte Powder. I just don't currently have one. So yeah, hopefully you like this look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see more videos. And all of my social media links are down below. If you don't follow me already, you should go and follow me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.